Hey, what's up guys? My name is Activator and I'm a broadcaster over on twitch.tv slash activator. And today I'm here to show you guys something kind of cool that maybe you just purchased for yourself. And I'm talking about the overlay packs and everything coming in from movegraph.com. And today we're going to look at how to install, set up, and manage everything to get your streams taken to the next level. Now, everything you're about to see here today can be utilized across all the different overlay packs coming in from movegraph.com. And they have different colors to suit your needs. So today we're going to be looking at a brand new pack coming in called Koba. Now this is the purple version. And again, there is multiple other colors. So go ahead and take the color that suits your needs and download that today. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to extract all and hit enter. And when I do, you're going to see a nice little folder pop up right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this thing. And you're going to see that we're going to get four folders with inside of this main folder. So when you open up this folder here, you're going to get four separate folders within the inside. And you can see each one of them is a little bit different. We have resources, PSD for text, panels, and overlays. So to start things off, we're going to jump right on into overlays. And if I open this up, you can see we have two different folders, one being non-animated and one being animated. Now, the non-animated version over here, you can see we can open this up and we can start to scroll through what exactly we're going to get with our pack. Now, this first one is a one by one camera frame. Then we got the four by three camera frame and the 16 by nine camera frame. And on top of that, you have a bunch of other assets here and really customize the way your streams look. So if we go ahead and back out of this and we go back a folder, you can also see that we have an animated folder. Now, if we open this one up, you're going to see we have a bunch of different animated versions of those exact same overlays. Now, these are WebM files. So when you do open them up, don't be scared when you start to see things looking a little weird here. I assure you, when you bring it into OBS or Stream Elements or any sort of software, you're going to actually see it how it's supposed to look. Now, if I go through this, you have the exact same overlays. You have the uh, the the one by one, the four by three, the sixteen by nine, and you have a bunch of other modular elements and assets to really bring and and create something unique for your own streams. So back at the main folder, we have another folder called panels. And if I open that up, you can see we have multiple different panels that you can utilize below your Twitch streams or wherever you're streaming to get in more info about you. And we have another folder labeled PSD for text. Now, if you open this up, you will see we have a couple of images here about last donation, new follower, recent sub, and we also have top donations. Now, these files are editable. You can take these into Photoshop. And if you need help, we have a video going over all the ins and outs on how to customize this text to suit your needs. Now, you can change this to whatever you want. To say your 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 greatest follower, your greatest subscriber, or whatever you think is necessary, but know that it's available to you inside of this pack. Back in our main folder here, you do see that we have our last folder here called resources. And if I open that up, you can see we have three more folders. Inside this font folder, you can see we have two fonts, and that's the font utilized across this overlay pack. Now, if you want to edit your overlay pack, you can bring them into Photoshop and you can take these fonts to match your other overlays to make sure that everything is even across the board. You can really create your own unique assets on top of the assets provided for you. Now, if you want to install one of these, it's very simple. If we open up Geo here and we open up this first one, you're going to see that we get what the font looks like right here. And if you just click on install, it's going to install to your PC. So now that I installed these fonts, I can go into Photoshop and edit these assets to suit my needs using the same font that was provided within the asset themselves. So back in the resources folder, we have another folder called MG icon. So if I open this up, you can see we have a bunch of icons here. Now, those icons can be used for whatever you see fit. Now, you can put these on your panels. You can put them on your stream. You can create a slideshow on your stream to really make something unique to you. Our last folder is called pre-made text. And if you open that up, you can see we have four assets in there. And each one of these is its own pre-made text. Now, these texts are utilized on top of your overlays as you see fit. You don't have to utilize them, but they're there if you need them. And if you don't have Photoshop, maybe these will be of value to you. So now that you see all the pre-made assets that you have at your disposal, we're going to jump into stream elements today and get these all into a nice overlay that you can simply put in your own OBS all with one browser source. So over on stream elements, website, they have a section called my overlays. And if you click on that, you're going to see a list of all your overlays that you can create. Now I have a bunch here, so don't worry too much about all those, but we're going to create a brand new overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create blank overlay. So when you get to the next screen, you're going to be able to choose a different resolution if you see fit. Now, depending on what you're streaming at 1080p, 900p, 720p, or a custom option, you just got to select the correct resolution to make sure it matches your stream. So I'm going to choose 1080p. My streams are in 1080p. I'm going to hit start. So now we have a blank canvas here and I'm going to go full screen. So now that I'm full screen, now I can really start to get in and start to really dive into how to create my own specific unique overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this overlay to Koba by Move Graph. 
And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to add the assets that we have already received via that folder that we just had. So what I want to do is I want to hit the little plus sign down here. Now, I know I have animated videos as well as static images. So I want to make sure to add both. So I'm going to go over here to static and I'm going to start to add images. Now, this is where you start to add all your custom assets. So to add these assets, you're going to need to select set image. And when you select set image, you're going to be able to upload your own files. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop everything that we just got from move graph. I'll go to my non animated overlays. and I'm going to take all these by holding shift and selecting all of them and just dragging and dropping them right on into the upload section. I can see we didn't get everything. So I need to go back into upload. Now, again, in our resources, we have a bunch of icons and we have fonts and pre-made text. We're going to take these pre-made text and we're also going to add those into stream elements. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to drag them over and it's going to upload them. Then we're going to continue uploading this process until we have all of our assets in place. So now that we've added all of our static images, now we have to add our animated images. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that plus symbol yet again. We're going to go up to static and go to video. Now, when I click on the change video, I'm also going to need to upload the WebM files. So if I come back to my folder, we're going to grab all these right here and drag them in. And it's going to take a while to start the upload process. But now you can see we have all these starting to load in. So we can just X on out of that after uh, you see that they loaded in. So now that they're all loaded in, we have all the assets we need. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and just start from scratch again. So we can see now that we have all of our files uploaded. Now we're going to start to build our overlay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus symbol and we're going to go up to add a video image because I want to start with my camera overlay. Now for my camera overlay, I want to make sure that I select the moving overlay because I feel like that looks a little fancy and I want to make sure I add it to my stream. So I'm going to hit change video. I'm going to go find the 16 by nine. And I believe it's this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And that's going to automatically bring in the 16 by nine asset for me to start to place anywhere on my stream. Now I'm going to go ahead and shrink this back down again. This is your entire canvas right here. This whole section right here is your canvas. So pretending that it is my canvas, I'm going to go ahead and put my webcam maybe somewhere right here. That's looking pretty good. Now you'll have to add your webcam once you're in OBS because you, you, you can't add your webcam on the, on a website. That's not how it's going to work. So we're going to continue to build our overlay right here. We're going to add another image and we're going to make this one a static image and we're going to select one of the images that we uploaded moments ago. And I'm thinking we're going to start with this one right here, the lower. Now this lower C right here, we're going to hit add and you're going to see it's kind of tiny. So we just stretch it to make it as big as we see fit. And I'm thinking that's a pretty good size. And I kind of like it maybe near the bottom of my, uh, my canvas. So I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So we can kind of leave it like that for now. I'm going to slide the webcam over a little bit more. And maybe we'll leave it like that for now. So my next step is I want to start to add other assets to really customize the way that my stream looks. I'm going to hit add and I'm going to go up to static. I'm going to hit image and we're going to click on set image again. And we're going to go ahead and click on I'm thinking this holder right here is a pretty good looking holder. Now holders are usually used for holding a green screen image. So if I was using a green screen, maybe you'd put this down below where you're hovering in space just so you have something to kind of hold you in place. Now I'm going to use this in a different way and we're going to utilize this to make our own custom border around our stream. Now here's where it gets a little bit more tricky because I want to flip this asset. If you just come over here to the position size and style, you can actually see that we get multiple different options here. And if you scroll down, you also get rotation. Now this rotation will allow you to rotate an object however you want. What I want to do is I want to rotate it 180 degrees. So because we're not working with a green screen, I'm going to try to utilize this in a different way. And I'm actually going to put it in the top side of this overlay. And you can see it was kind of snapping around there. So if you ever get to a point where it's kind of snapping and locking to uh, sections here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off snapping because you can. And now I can freely move it around and it won't be sticking to anything if I don't want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up in the top corner like this. And I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. Now, again, you kind of have to visualize looking past these black lines right here, but you can kind of see exactly what we're getting so far. Next, I want to start to build something that represents my new followers and new subs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to add another static video. I'm going to go ahead and click on most recent sub. And now we're going to go and bring this down. You can see it's kind of small. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger to fit our webcam over here. We're actually going to move our webcam to the center and we're going to blow this up a little bit. Now, again, we'll, we'll reposition this here in a second, but you can see I'm going to go ahead and take this and we're going to drag it and make it kind of fit on top of our camera overlay. So this is looking pretty good so far. And I'm thinking that looks kind of nice. That's kind of like my own unique design. I'm kind of liking how it's looking. It flows kind of nicely. The recent subs right there. 
that's looking pretty good. Next, I want to add my own newest recent follower. I want to make sure I give thanks to them. So I'm going to go back over here to static images, back over to video. So I'm going to take one without any text. And this one right here, the lower, we can actually see it has no text built into it. So we can kind of do whatever we want to it. Now I'm going to shrink this back down. And we're actually going to set this on top of our overlay. I'm going to go and see if I can fine tune this position is something like that. Maybe it kind of fits all the way to the edge there. And that's looking kind of nice. I'm kind of liking how it's all flown right there, but we're not done yet. I want to add text on top of this that says recent follower. So I'm going to go take one of the pre-made assets that were given to us. And I'm going to go ahead and go here to add an image. And we're going to go find that newest follower. So if I go find new follower right here, I click on submit. And now we have the text that says new follower. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this back down. We're going to try to make it match the size of this one right here that says uh, new sub. So if I bring this down, that's looking pretty close. And now I'm going to set this maybe somewhere right here. And if I set that right there, maybe the newest follower's name could be right on top of this little area right here. And that might look kind of nice. The most recent sub going in this little box right here. And that looks pretty good. Now, if I want to move this around, you can see that it's kind of, it's kind of too big and it's also in the wrong spot. But if I move one asset, it's all going to not move together. So if I move this, you're going to see it's not selecting everything all at once. So what you can do inside of stream elements is if you come back over to the layers, you can actually see all of our different files right here. Now, each one of these files represents a different one of these assets. So if I come over here and click this, you can see, oh, that's my webcam. This next image, that's the bottom. This next image, that's the top left. So you can see it's going to be video number one, as well as video number four, five, and image six. And that's going to be all of our assets. So what I want to do is I want to turn them all on. So what I want to do is I want to create a group. And if I create group, we're going to title this webcam. I'm going to hit OK. And now we can start to drag our different assets into this. So if I bring this on into here and bring this one in and bring this one in, now we have one giant source of which we can move however we see fit. So now that we have this group, we're going to go and place this over on maybe the left hand corner, maybe somewhere like right here. Now we're going to scale this down and I'm thinking we can probably leave this maybe right here and that's looking pretty good. So I'm really liking how this is looking, but I want to add a little bit more. So maybe I want to add something that represents the different social medias that I actually own. But what I want to do is I want to move my camera up to the top here and we're going to go ahead and add a slideshow. If you go over here to static custom and add a asset rotator slash slideshow, we can start to add in different assets. So inside of our files, I'm going to select the YouTube. I'm going to come back and hit add and we're going to select maybe discord. And maybe we're going to also add our Instagram. And maybe lastly, I have a, a Twitter or maybe I have all of them. But for now, we're just going to use the uh, the four of them here. So if I bring this right here, you can kind of see that, you know, the assets are starting to change. And I can go ahead and zoom in if I really want to. And you can see that the images are changing on their own. Now you can customize these to delay in between each image. You can have a delay to how many times it repeats. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this back down by hitting zoom out. I'm going to put this way down here on the bottom left. I'm thinking that's a good spot. So this is looking pretty good. But one thing I didn't tell you guys is you can actually change the animation style that these things come in. So if I actually select slide up, you can see the little animation of this thing sliding in. And if I choose maybe zoom out down and then it'll kind of like pop smaller and then jump back down. So you can add a little animation to your slideshows with inside of stream elements. So that's pretty good. And I'm liking how this looks, but I feel like I'm not quite done yet. I want to add one more thing before we get this on into OBS. So I'm going to come over here to add and I'm going to go ahead and add another image and I'm going to add a video and we're going to go ahead and change the video. And now we're going to select this one by one right here. Now, I don't, you know, who knows what this might be for. I'll, I'll keep it a secret until we get into OBS. But so I'm going to take this and we're actually going to move my cam and I'm going to put this right down here in the bottom section. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit because I got a special plan for this. So I'm thinking this looks pretty good. That thing's animated down there. The overlay is looking pretty clean and nice, and it's very concise. It looks very good. I'm using assets in, in a specific way that I feel like looks good for my stream setup. And I'm thinking this is nice. So next step is all you gotta do is hit save. And when you hit save, that's going to lock everything in. So I hit save. You can see on the bottom, right? It says, uh, it says it's saved. Now, when I back up, you can see it's now saved up here in the top left and it's the most recent edited, uh, thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots. And now we're going to get this into OBS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click copy URL and that's going to automatically take the overlay and it's going to copy it to your, your clipboard. 
Now let's open up an instance of OBS. So now that we're in OBS, we need to start building our stream. We're already set to 1080 at 60 FPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in our first asset. And that asset's just gonna be a little background here. Just so we have something to kind of look at and make sure it loops. And uh, that the asset will just keep looping. It, it, consider this being something like maybe your background, maybe it's your desktop, maybe it's your gameplay, but it's just something for you to kind of see here to see everything's working. So next step, we need to add our overlay. So if we right click and click on browser, now we can add a browser source. We're gonna call this move graph overlay. I'm gonna hit okay. And you're gonna see we start to have a little browser source action going on here. And I need to uh, copy in my link. So if I copy in the link and if I change this to 1920 by 1080 and I hit enter, you can see boom, just like that, the overlay has now been locked in. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in as well so I can't move anything. You can see it, it is its own little movable source. So if I wanted to move around, I could, but we're gonna make it right up into the top. I'm gonna lock it in. That's looking pretty good. Now we need to add our camera. So to get our camera behind you, we're gonna go click on add video capture device. We're gonna call this our main camera. Hit okay. Now we're gonna add our video capture and hit okay. I'm liking how this is looking, our main camera. And you can see it's on top of my overlay. So my overlay needs to be on top of me. I can't, I need to, I can't be on top of the overlay. So I gotta drag it below the browser source. And now you can see my face is kind of covered here by the overlay. And if I bring my camera maybe to the top right there and drag this a little bit smaller to fit perfectly with inside of this overlay, I'm feeling this is looking pretty good, but we gotta get to that, that key little thing that I talked about moments ago. So we're actually gonna add a second camera here and we're gonna go ahead and call this camera two. I'm gonna hit okay. And now if I come down here to my drop down menu, we're actually gonna select C920, not our main camera. And if I do that, you can see when I hit okay, we got ourselves a little cat here and this is my cat nuke and you can see exactly what's about to happen. So now that we have our cat here, we're actually gonna put him in this bottom right hand corner I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down real nice and small, but you can see it doesn't really fit inside of the overlay. So if I just, uh, first of all, I gotta bring it down below the overlay, but you can see it doesn't really fit. This line right here kind of cuts into them. So I'm gonna hold Alt. If I drag this on over, it actually crops in on the video. So now the video is behind it and cropped in. And you can see just like that, my cat on the bottom right here, looking so cute, sleeping away, trying to be a cute little guy and he's successful at it too. But it's, uh, this is looking pretty good. This is a nice little overlay and people can maintain watching my cat as he's being super cute. And uh, this is all looking very, very nice and clean and it fits my style. So one more thing, I wanna let you guys know again that everything you learned here today can be utilized across all the overlay packs from movegraph.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. And until next time, happy streaming, good luck, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.